Uh, so I was hosting Lieutenant Colonel Alan West on campus. He was going to give a speech on how America is not racist, why American values are exceptional. And we got through the speech. Um, we had hundreds of people show up for the speech. We actually had a standby line with hundreds of people who weren't even able to get in since we filled the capacity of the room pretty quickly. Um, and then during the private meeting great with members, it got out of hand with the protesters. They were... screaming no peace, no peace, which I took them at face value that they didn't want peace as they were trying to get in and trying to disrupt our meeting great. And then it got crazy as we went to leave. So I was following Colonel West out with our police escort as hundreds of protesters around us were screaming at us. And then I was quickly separated from the police as they were protecting uh, Colonel West. And the protesters came between me and them. Um, and then I realized that I was the target for these protesters. And about 200 of my fellow students started hunting me down on campus, started chasing me. We had school. screaming, go get her, go get her, go capture her, get the girl in the red dress, which is when I started darting um, away from them as they were sprinting towards me. And eventually I turned the stairs and was one second ahead of them, which is when one of my friends pulled me into the men's bathroom. Um, and we just missed them, thankfully. They were just a few seconds behind. And while I was in the bathroom, I could hear them screaming, where is she, where is she? We need to find her, we need to find her. <laughs> And I called 911. But while this was all happening, the mob continued to chase other members of our club, Young Americans for Freedom. They physically assaulted one of our e-board members. They kicked him. They punched him. It was a really crazy event that we were trying to bring a black voice to campus to talk about these issues of racism and American exceptionalism. And while they were screaming that we were trying to silence black voices, we were actually trying to bring this conversation to campus. We had an open Q&A during the event, but instead of asking peaceful questions, they decided to resort to violence. controversial to say on American campus that American values are a good thing. American values are worth protecting. Uh, I don't think they like Colonel West's message that <laughs> he did experience racism. Yeah. He grew up in the 1960s, 1970s in the South, but he overcame that and he decided not to be a victim, not to look at himself as a victim, and that America gave him that equality of opportunity that many other countries don't. And I think these like people like to see themselves as the victim and his message fundamentally challenged that. In my opinion, this is crazy that this is happening on college campuses. These protesters are so negative, disruptive, and dangerous. Instead of finding a peaceful, positive solution to issues, they are resorting to violence and hate. Why and who is teaching the kids to hate one another? And if you didn't notice the speaker was a black man. Those are my thoughts. What are yours? Leave them in the comments below. Please share this video for education and awareness. For the Dumb Dumb News channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.